guys, Rach here, and it's time for another Let's Play. This Let's Play should be a lot different from all the previous Let's Plays, and I am going to get back to my roots. I am going to build something amazing and phantasmagorical, and you guys can either like it, or GTFO, quite frankly. Yes, I just said that. Haters, gonna hate. But guys, the psychic powers are back. HELL YES! I am going to get materials from the void of psychicness and I am going to build a huge project bigger than the platform, rivaling that of Ultimate Minecraft and you guys are going to join me on this journey as we construct this magnificent thing and it shall be amazing, it shall be awesome and it shall be even better. That was a lame finish, I'll give you that. When it is finished, yes. Now what I am going to build is a complete research facility, testing chambers, farming areas, automatic stuff like the cobblestone machine, indoor farming, uh, everything electronized, and you know, like holding cells for all the various zombies with various tests you can do, like dropping water, sand, lava on them, and it's going to be a clear cut, sleek, metallic research facility with all the trimmings. That is what I am going to build. I have had inspiration. And it shall be so. And, to reiterate, the psychic powers, they are back! Are you ready? BOOM! Psychic shot. I can explode the very earth with my thought process. And it shall be so. Right. Oh, it's getting night time. I don't like it getting night time. Night time displeases me. You know what I'm going to do about night time? Are you ready? Night time. You shall be conquered. Yes, you shall. But first of all, we need to find a sort of space. We need a nice flat plane in which to construct our research facility. Everyone say goodbye to that building over there. Pathetic it was. Ah, that might have been a bit harsh. It was fun. Guys, I've decided the Ragecon Empire will be the survival multiplayer server. And whatever we construct, and when I do videos on it, shall be the Ragecon Empire. That it makes much more sense if you ask me. And you are asking me because I'm telling you. Huzzah! Okay. Oh, it's night time, is it? It's night time. Well, I don't think it is night time. Three, two, one, boom! The night itself shall succumb to my powers. Nothing shall get in my way. This construct shall be magnificent. And all shall bow down to the research facility. That doesn't sound as epic as I intended it to be. This is a nice little area, actually. Yes, this is a very nice little area. But I might need a shovel. Hmm. I've got an idea. Yes, this will do nicely! And I don't care if you're not happy about the use of psychic powers. If you want to watch someone be boring and mine and farm materials, go watch a lesser Let's Play, because we are going to have fun building this research facility. And don't worry, you people who I understand want to go see me, like, explore caves and fight zombies and get into horrible, horrible times. For that, there is the labyrinth of exploration that I am also doing for you to enjoy me getting very angry and being very annoyed by everything. So, you know what? I don't like that bit of rock. Bit of rock, bit of dirt. I want flat ground. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Much better. Much better, indeed. You know what? I might manually do the next ones. Just, you know, keeping it real. Keeping it very real. Real, indeed. Real is how we roll. How we roll is real. Real is good. This general area shall be fine for the laboratory. If I need more floor space, I can get rid of it as I see necessary using power blast from the mind. And we can start building it. We can always expand. But I shall make the entranceway, which will have, like, a desk type area. Like that of the original Half-Life when you're walking and that guy's looking at a blue screen for some reason. Yes, this is very good. We shall start building it here. Indeed we will. And we can fill in this water. Yes, we can. We can fill in this water. Now flood him with actual floor. And for a laborato laboratory, it needs to be, you know, sleek metal walls and stuff. And for that, I think iron blocks look the best. Don't you agree? I agree. Time for some in Inventory mo modulation. Are you ready? I shall transform the iron, wool, sand, pick, sapling, cobblestone, 
dirt stairs into things more useful. Are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. Activate! The R is gone. Yes. Yes, that should be fine for now. A pick, a shovel, and unlimited iron blocks. Yes, I said unlimited. Deal with it, people. Deal with it. We shall have great fun building this magnificent structure. Yes, we shall. And just for good measure. Boom! 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 Kabow. What was that? I think I lost my booms and went with a kabow, but it sounded like a kabow. I don't know what a kabow is, but it's a kabow. Yes, we shall start the research facility, and it shall be glorious. The Let's Play shall rise again as something to be proud of. Yes, indeed. Yes, distractions are full and plentiful in my recording time. This angers me greatly, but not enough to sheep. Shut up, chicken! Shut up. Okay, okay. You know what? Yeah. That's you wall gone. One more. One more. Okay. I'm sorry, but yeah. That's what you, I warned you. How about you? You you gonna make another noise? You you gonna You gonna You learnt from the sheep? Yeah. Oh oh no you haven't. Yeah. Okay. It's the last noise you'll ever make. Your dying scream. Okay, so this is gonna be the entrance of the laboratory. Now we need to make it just more than a simple door. We need to make it like some sort of, I don't know, like code lock? Or, I'll get on how to do a sort of code lock next episode. That'd be quite cool if you have to like press buttons in a certain sequence. I'm sure you can do that. So, we need to go down a nice corridor, I think. Let's have the corridor three spaces wide, like so, into the f facility proper. Yes, this looks good. I shall just make the preliminary entrance, and then you guys, you guys can suggest stuff to actually go in the research facility, like, for example, suggesting a cobblestone miner. You know, stuff along those lines, a zombie testing place. And it shall all be included, and we shall have our very own testing area. And it shall be awesome! Yes, it shall. Completely automated minecrafting is the future. Yes. Yes, it is. <gasps> I know what we should have at the beginning of the laboratory. A area that completely, um, you know, sanitizes you. Where the doors lock and it goes, Shh, and then you can get out. But how would we do that? How would we do that? I guess you'd have to sort of drop water on your head. That's quite a good idea, actually. So you're going to come from this. Let's make the hallway a bit longer and more impressive. And then we're going to come through this door here which is going to be a steel door with a pressure plate that locks it behind you into a little room. This little room is going to be this big. And there's going to be another door there. And you're going to press a button which will drop water onto you and then open this door so you get sanitized. Yes, yeah, so there's going to be a thing that says stand here and press the button or a switch and then that will trigger the water to fall on you. That would be quite a good idea. I shall implement that next time. How do I go about implanting that? I might do it now. So you'd need there'd need to be a red are you serious? There need to be a redstone wire going which would trigger water to drop on you. How would I get water to trigger? That's a question. That is a very good question. Mm. Oh, I can modify my trap to do it. Yes, yes indeed. That is how we roll. I will need some extra materials for this though. And you know what that means, yes, once again, for the millionth time in this episode. They are here. They are back. And they are stronger than ever. You shall be mesmerized entirely by the prowess of psychicness that is happening to everyone and everything. Yes, in deed. Whew. Right. Let's just finish the actual chamber itself, and then we can get on it. Right. Here we go! Yes, we are back, and with many materials at our disposal. This shall be very good. Trap! Secret! Rage! Research! Facili f facility. Facilt? No. Facility? No, facility? Facility. 
and stuff. Yes. Yes, that is yes, that is what you call a classic sign right there and boom. And we've also got buttons. Yes, we have buttons. And for now it shall simply be a button. Yes, and hang on. Here we go. Right, and there shall be another one. With another button here. And one sun sanitization. I do not know how that's spelled, but I will assume it is the same. And then we'll have another one here that says, Press the lever. The lever shall be golden. The lever is what you need. Hang on. What's happened if I put A? No, that doesn't do anything. Let's destroy that button. Grab a lever. Yes, indeed, a lever. Right. No, that doesn't work. Hang on. We could have... If we have this, like, here, we could do this. Yes, I've got an idea. I have an idea. Let's put a sign. We need a sign. Yes, indeed, we need a sign. Oh, yeah, so you can't get out of here. You've got a... Yeah, that makes sense. Press button to enter. Yes. But first of all, you have to stand on this block. Let's put the sign here. Stand, unblock, and press button. Yes, indeed. This is kind of uh, buttons. Nope, just button. So you go on here, and then you go. Actually, no. I need this to. What? Does that even make sense? That doesn't even make sense. Stand, on. Onyx, because it is Onyx. And pull lever. Much better. Okay, so let's go out of here. It's already night time again. Are you serious? Am I going to have to change day and night with my bare hands again? Right, so this should work. I'm hoping this should work. It'd be pretty cool if it does work. Right, so if I get my redstone wiring and pull this up here and then I do this, will it turn and go up? Oh it will! That is useful. That is definitely useful. Oh and it reaches the top, that is epic. Okay and then we need it to go up here like this, then we'll get rid of this. In fact no it needs to go up here. And then this needs to be a TNT. Yes it does. Does it need to be TNT? Yes, it does need to be a TNT. I forgot TNT! Oh my god! That's better! You know what? It's getting night time. I might just end the Let's Play because the sky angers me. Yes, indeed, the sky angers me. Hmm, what to do? What to do? You know what? I'm going to finish this later. I'm going to leave you guys hanging with this mechanicalness. Yes, I am. I don't care if you're going to hate because that is what is happening. Yes, indeed. Right, I need that here. And then there needs to be... Finish the roof. Let's finish the roof. Yeah, I know so I was going to end it, but I'm getting distracted by wanting to do this. So... Yeah. Then there's going to be... Onyx all around here. And then there's going to be water... In here. Then... More Onyx... Like this... I think... Is this... Have I got this right? I think I've completely balls this up, personally. Because an onyx is a bitch to get rid of. Alright, let's go back inside. Let me see something. I can't get back inside. That is annoying. That angers me greatly. Here we go. Right. Yeah, so the TNT needs to be there. Which means... That doesn't work! Oh, and how do I get rid of the TNT? Oh, God. Um... Uh, okay, I'll figure this out next time. Okay. Okay, g g goodbye.